What's up, people? Today we are going to do another redraw because I can and why not? This is the artwork that is chosen for the redraw. Today I'm going to be doing two artworks to be redrawed. And also the redraw is gonna be in banner style because I want a new banner as well. <laughs> Multitasking. And let's start. I first started out with a very rough sketch of his post that I'm gonna be doing and after that, I will be doing a clean sketch of the artwork. I personally, I really like clean sketch, like even though it's kind of messy, I can fix it in the end. I can like layer more colors in the end to make it look more clean. So yeah, don't worry if you messed up your sketch. In this redraw, I want to keep his expression and his pose because that is the key point of the old artwork. This artwork is of my OC. His name is AQB, which is AQB in capital letters. I don't know why I named it that way, but it is what it is. And this artwork is from 2020, which is like four years ago. That's insane. That's really long, actually. So before, usually when I would make my OCs, I like to make them simple but also adding features that makes them iconic. And for AQB is his long blue hair and his the red marks on his face. It's a face paint or face tattoo you can say. After the sketch, I did some base color, coloring each part his hair, his clothes, and his skin. And I also airbrushed some of the highlights. I made his long hair flowy all over the canvas because this is a long banner and I thought his hair would be nice to cover the canvas which is a great idea and it looks really nice. And for the shading, I used Multiply to know which places that I'm gonna be shade and the lightning and all. Oh yeah, also I forgot to record where I shaded the skin because I forgot. I stopped the recording for a while and, and then I just forgot to press record again and oh, it's such a waste because I really like how I colored the skin. Man! Thankfully though, I remember before finishing the whole thing because if not then this video won't even exist. Anyways, glad I remember. Press record again. <laughs> and from there on, I just started rendering. By rendering, I mean coloring each part one by one. In this artwork, he's laying down while doing the exact same pose. Making him laying down is probably one of the best decisions ever because he looks more seducing that way, I think. <laughs> I enjoy doing this artwork a lot because I had so much fun coloring, shading each part one by one, especially the hair. It is a lot of work, but the result is definitely worth it. I am really happy with this. Here I am coloring the line art. This makes so much difference. I also added some more strands of his hair to make the hair more messy and like all around the canvas. With a lighter color, I also added more hair. It's still his hair, but in distance view, that's why I use a lighter color. After rendering, I also added some highlights for his eyes, his nose, his lips especially, to make it look plump. Then, I used the red to draw his face tattoo. This is also the key point of the art because it's one of his iconic features. I also added some blush and render his slips to make it look nicer, added more strands. And then here I'm trying to do a leaf and leaves everywhere. And then I suddenly got the urge to do a water effect on him. At this point, I'm still playing around actually. I shaded the part where he's underwater and then I shade the water, shade some more, 
add some colors, add some lightning, and try to somehow make it look like water without any reference. Well, preferably if you want to make it look more realistic, use reference. Don't be like me, use reference. Don't freestyle this. Maybe one of the reasons I freestyle this because I once did this effect before and I also want to test my muscle memory maybe, haha. <laughs> Either way, this was so much fun. If you feel like you're a great plane, I guess just add some blotch of colors. Like for this one, I added some leaves. So it's like raining leaves everywhere. And it looks really nice. It complements the art, especially his green outfit and his green eyes, but mostly his outfit. Then for the final touch, I added a kiss a lipstick mark on him because I just think it adds up to the art and it looks nice and I love it. It's me guys, it's me, it's my lipsticks. And fun fact, the lipstick is waterproof because he's on water, you know. The lipstick gotta be waterproof. This is the before and this is the after. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Four or four years improvement. Not bad, not bad. Okay, now let's move on to the second art. For the second art, the process here is pretty much the same as the first one. If you watch my previous video, I've been liking doing colors and then started just rendering from there. But in these two art, I did a clean sketch and then color and then some rendering and stuff while you watch the process video let me tell you about my oc his name is jahani i created him a very long time ago he's one of my favorite oc i mean i have a lot of favorite ocs i think i have a very very many of OCs <laughs> but the Bat Twins and Johanny are my top three favorite yeah his iconic features is the gradation on his hair his hair from top to bottom is green blue green so the middle part is blue this is one of the hardest part to draw him for me especially besides his hair there's also his heterochromia eyes his right eyes is blue and his left eyes is red his hairstyle is the very basic common looking anime boy hairstyle that could ever existed but I think his heterochromia eyes and his hair color gradation is what makes Johanny Johanny. Whenever I draw him, I try to make his clothes more complicated, but obviously that's not always the case. The vibe I'm going for for Johanny is a prince looking vibe from a fairy tale something like that that's why at the redraw i draw him with some flower petals raining some pillars with roses and then his cape flowy which makes it really really prince looking well isn't that a very quick speed paint very very quick speed paint that is it for the secondary jaw this is the before and this is the after again let me know your thoughts this is a five year improvement because the old one is from 2019 five years is such a very long time oh my god so that's it for the video i really hope you enjoy this redraw process i love the redraw it is one of the things i recommend artists doing very very much it's nice to see your art improvement your art progress along the years so i highly encourage you to do a redraw if you haven't and if you never done a redraw yeah do it subscribe like 
leave a comment thank you for watching see you next time